me, you guys know me and holding awards. You, I am not, I'm not strong enough. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, it was over me. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm saying before the VMAs, the way that she did that came off away. This Armand Wiggins tweet is saying she just seems tone deaf to American culture. That Armand Wiggins tweet sounds like some bullshit to me. Megan, and he said, I don't know this girl, but I don't like how she acts. What? Hey, fam. Yo, dog, but, but, she, but yes, every time you see her visibly, there is something like this. There was the Breakfast Club interview where it's like, uh, okay, got it. There's this usher shit. There's this when she accepted the award. Yeah, girl, stop it now. Stop. You don't know that you getting up there to accept the award. Listen, I didn't even like how she fucking put her hand on the person that was walking her to the stage. I hated that. That's crazy. Bro. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I'm telling you how I felt. There's a way. You don't to like the girl, John. No, there's a, no. Let's come across the girl. No, yeah. please. So just because y'all don't agree, don't don't fucking invalidate what I'm saying. And let me say what I'm saying. Because I thought long and hard about what I'm saying. I've seen Taylor Swift and everybody else that get walked up there do that same move away. They all gotta get walked up there. I'm not highlighting her. But if you got a long dress on, somebody's walking you to the stage. There is a way to depart from that person. I'm telling you that when Tyler did that, it could look away. Let's continue it. She don't know that saying this award is too heavy and drunk. Hey, can you hey, carry hold this? I'm not saying that she wasn't genuine in what she was saying. I'm saying it comes off away. Niggas are not off base for highlighting that. It came off away. And Chloe looked at her like, I mean, I'm Holly. Not Chloe. Holly looked at her like, girl. <laughs> yeah, Lil Nas X, you better. You didn't watch it. I saw that. That's clip. I'm that's 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 I don't give a fuck about a clip going viral. I'm talking about sitting there through commercial break and seeing it and feeling it in the moment. Fuck that clip. How? Would you have held it? No. So what the? Mm, maybe man, would've. Man. And he grabbed it. As you oh, also, let me say, Lil Nas X is fucking maturing like the kids from Stranger Things. I think I got new pussy court. Lil Nas X is growing up fast. I don't know if it's still cute anymore. Oh. <laughs> hey. All right. yeah, yeah. Going back to show you though. So this hate train with Tyler is getting out of hand. I just saw that Joe but Budden podcast. Um, and I like Joe Budden. Don't get me wrong, but he is very opinionated. And um, I did see the VMAs clip of Tyler. You know, not being able to hold her own award or whatever. But y'all have to understand, y'all look, y'all see how small Tyler is? I'm petite. I'm skinny myself, like her. And let me tell you, our arms get very weak, easy. And she's trying, she's an artist, so she has to maintain a certain image. I'm, I'm sure she didn't want to sweat too much. She probably had a lot of makeup on. And then she was trying to, she was probably nervous. It was her first, I don't know. But I, what I do know is when you're skinny like that, your arms get weak, especially with heavy stuff. Just take it from somebody who's skinny myself. That award is probably made out of like, I don't know, metal. I don't know, gold or something like stuff like that. Material like that is heavy for weak. I, I'm not gonna call her weak, cause I don't know her. I don't know if she works out. Her, her upper body strength might be stronger than mine. So I don't know, but clearly it wasn't because she couldn't even hold the award and you know i mean i don't know why it's such a big deal what she did people are making it an extra big deal what she did people are just trying to find a reason not to like her to cancel her they've been doing that everything she does is a problem that's a pretty girl's thing like when you're pretty people want to find a reason to sabotage you and they'll find anything as soon as they see something that you did they're like aha see she's not perfect after all this that and the third it's a whole bunch of stuff like i go on lipstick alley and see people just talking shit about her and why she's still on the charts why is water's song still on the charts and what did the girl do the girl's not a mean girl she's not a mean girl at all she doesn't give mean girl vibes at all she's very unproblematic she's she respects herself she has confidence she's talented i don't care what people say she could dance and sing at the same time that's talent to me i don't give a fuck it's hard to perform and maintain looking cute at the same time i mean she's already pretty naturally but i think that's where the hate comes from like no shade but i think that's just where the hate comes from in my opinion i don't know where else it could come from she's a very sweet girl but she's somebody i call a triple threat she's pretty she's skinny she's talented she has an aura she's she's more than a triple threat she's biracial which is a whole nother conversation you know what i'm saying so People are just trying to find a reason to hate on the new pretty girl because that's just how it is with new pretty girls. She's new to the game. She's pretty. People are just, the hate train is out of hand. Like Joe Butter, why, why are you hating on her this hard? 
like the way she acts why does that bother you she didn't actually say anything disrespectful to anybody that's the thing i don't understand about any of it she's not talking disrespectful she's not on her high horse like i spice has been at all she's definitely not acting like i spice so i just yeah i gotta give the girl Y'all gotta give the girl a break, man. She's <laughs> she's new to America, I guess. I don't know if she's ever been here before, but she's from a whole other country. So there she's gonna have different mannerisms. That's natural from somebody from another country who's coming to a new country. Just imagine you coming from America going to like another country in Europe. I've been overseas before. I've lived in Europe. I've lived in Asia. And it's a culture shock for the person. You have to learn people's customs. When I was in Asia, they bow when they say hello. And Americans wave when we say hello. So you ha it's like an adjustment. You have to get used to the culture that you're coming in. You know, Tyler's PR and her management team, her marketing team is amazing. Let me just say that. But, you know, she has to get her... her uh, a media presence up excuse me i have a cold get her media presence up and you know work on her interview skills and she'll be fine she's she got she got it she you know you're you got it when people hate you for make-believe reasons no real reason at all they just have to if it's out it's like bullshit reasons like so i don't know but what do you guys think let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys next time wait what are we mad about here <laughs> because she asked lil nas x to hold the statue because she thought it was heavy didn't hallie try to hand her that big ass envelope while she's trying to grab this statue like that was more weird to me i've never seen the person presenting hand them the envelope that was kind of weird i thought but there's also a clip going around of cardi b handing the statue to that little 14 year old millie girl bobby millie brown from stranger things saying that this was heavy and she was only a 14 year old girl i don't see that energy going around for cardi b this is kind of weird to me the people on this app are funny though because i've seen more backlash about this than kamala harris silencing palestinian protesters at the dnc like you're anti-black woman if you give a legitimate critique against a politician running for president but it's not weird or anti-black woman to get upset over this 22-year-old girl asking Lil Nas X to hold a trophy while she gives a speech. Okay, TikTok. Tyler might have won the best Afrobeats award at the VMAs, but she's got people talking for another reason. The singer asked Little Mermaid star Halle Bailey to hold her award because it was too heavy. And people think she was dissing her. They both post on X showing love to each other and Tyler hit back at the haters. so small i'm just i'm so tiny and small can you hold this for me what is it about confident people that makes us feel so uncomfortable there's all this hoo-ha about tyler from this other country that is on the other side of the world and i must say not everybody but quite a lot of them have a feeling that tyler is an uppity is an entitled uppity african by the way proud entitled uppity african here talking why is it that so many people feel uncomfortable with confident people, especially high performing, successful, confident people? And I'm making that distinction because I have noted that when it is a confident person that is not doing so well, it's so easy for people to celebrate and talk about, oh, I love your confidence. Oh, you shake it or you, you're worthy. I don't even know why I said you shake it, but anyway, let's move on. Here's the thing about successful, confident people they remind us of who we want to be. They challenge us to confront the reality that actually we have a choice of what we believe and what we don't believe about ourselves. When everything says that you are an African, you can never be, you're black, you can never be, you're a woman, you can never be, or you're this, you can never be, where they find some element to hold you down and say that you can never be this because of this unchangeable aspect of who you are, but then you dare go over that and you dare overcome that. But only that, you dare actually kill it and have a major success out of it. I went back and watched the video where Tyler was accepting the awards that she won for. And I saw nothing wrong in regards to her acceptance and how she asked 
those two artists that were there, which has been done countless of times where artists ask other people to hold obviously their trophy, which you can tell in that video it was really heavy and she wanted to take that moment for her to make a speech, but you can tell how grateful she is for being there for also winning this award. And it's crazy how some of you have used and weaponized this moment for you to hate and jump on the bandwagon of I hate Tyler Train, which is sad trying to diminish the light of another African artist, which is crazy. And why are you all doing this? Hyper analyzing everything about this woman and her persona just to find a reason to hate her. Just say you don't like her and that's okay. And I've seen so many videos being made about I told you she was giving bad vibes, I knew she was about this, where I saw nothing wrong with what she did. And how is it disrespectful to ask another artist to help you hold something that's heavy? Some of you are so weird. Do you know who the nominees? were for that award we had Tim's, Ira Store, Burner Boy, DeVito <laughs> okay but they give it to Tyler she had like one or two good songs I think people are reacting this way because she is benefiting from like you know colorism in America I don't think it's xenophobia mm-hmm -mm. Because people don't have any issues with Tim's and Iowa Store. And people can say like, hey, those are the people we want to see win the awards. Okay? Okay? They can say that. Yeah, I don't think that's the issue. Mm -hmm. And her being biracial is not the issue too. It was the whole color thing, which we, we, we talked about. And yeah, and black Americans, they can have an issue with her if they... Because <laughs> they don't like the words colored. We don't use colored in America, so... Hey. So if people have an issue with it, they can. But yeah, but I would just wanted to clear it's not xenophobia. Because people, they don't have any issues with... Burner Boy or Iris Star.